A super slippery surface has been developed to which water drops practically do not stick. Scientists from Finland have managed to develop a super slippery surface that allows water droplets to slide off it with unprecedented ease. This innovation can be used in various industries. It also has the potential to revolutionize home cleaning. Whether water sticks to the surface or not depends on many factors. Friction is quite an important issue here. If the chemical composition of the surface is uniform, it would seem that water will flow down it quite quickly. Water should perform worse on more complex surfaces. But as new research published in the journal Nature Chemistry has shown, the situation is not that simple. Scientists from Aalto University in Finland, in cooperation with their colleagues from the University of Jyväskylä, have developed a super slippery surface to which water droplets actually do not stick and slide off easily. The new method of creating hydrophobic surfaces can be used in many areas, including hydraulics, optics, automotive and marine industries. All around us, water interacts with solid surfaces. The way it adheres to or slides off surfaces has implications for a variety of areas, including transportation, optics and even cooking. Understanding the molecular dynamics of these microscopic droplets is helping scientists and engineers find ways to improve many home and industrial technologies. The surface developed by Finnish scientists was made of silicon and covered with self-assembled monolayers, SAM. SAMs are molecular layers that can move like a liquid but are strongly bonded to the surface. They act as a lubricant between water droplets and the substrate. Liquid-like surfaces are a new type of drop-resistant surfaces that offer many technical advantages. They have molecular layers that are highly mobile and at the same time covalently bonded to the substrate, giving solid surfaces liquid-like properties. A research team led by Robin Rass from Aalto University used a specially designed reactor to create a liquid layer of particles, or SAM. By carefully adjusting conditions such as the temperature and water content inside the reactor, the team could precisely determine how much of the silicon surface would be covered by the monolayer. The results showed greater slipperiness when SAM coverage was low or high, and this also occurs in situations where the surface is most uniform. At low coverage, the dominant component is the silicon surface, and at high coverage, SAM is the dominant component. It's counterintuitive that even a small coating provided exceptional slipperiness. Admitted Sakari Lepico, the study's lead author. At low coating coverage, water forms a layer on the surface, which was thought to increase friction. We found that water instead flows freely between SAM molecules at low SAM coverage, sliding off the surface. And when the SAM range is large, the water stays on the SAM and slides off just as easily. Only between these two states does water adhere to the SAM and stick to the surface, Lepico added. The discovery can be used wherever surfaces resistant to water drops are needed. As Lepico admitted, this includes hundreds of examples from everyday life as well as industrial solutions.
Potential applications include solutions such as liquid-based heating installations, de-icing or anti-fogging. Our coating will also help in microfluidics, where tiny droplets must be moved in a precise way, which is used, for example, in printer heads. It will also be useful in creating self-cleaning surfaces. Our counterintuitive mechanism is a new way to increase droplet mobility where it is needed, Lepico noted. The team intends to continue experimenting with SAM and improving manufacturing methods. Researchers also want to improve the properties of SAM, because currently these coatings are very thin and sensitive to mechanical damage.